Contrary to popular belief, osteoporosis is not a calcium deficiency. I once had a patient who visited with me and she had major bone loss problems. We'd done some tests and some scans. Anyway, I put her on a very elaborate nutritional protocol and exercise program based on her own biochemical testing. She then proceeded to also have a follow-up with her OB-GYN doctor a few weeks later. It was amazing to me because her OB-GYN doctor recommended calcium, but not as calcium the supplement. She actually recommended Tums with calcium. Now, if you know anything about Tums, it's an antacid. And if you know anything about antacids, they block calcium absorption. So her moronic OB-GYN, in an attempt to treat her osteoporosis, gave her an antacid with calcium. So she gave her a drug that blocked the calcium that she was trying to get into her to help her with her bones. It was the wrong approach. It was a bad approach. And unfortunately, many doctors give that approach to their patients because they don't understand nutrition. They don't take enough of it in school. You know, one of the biggest problems in our healthcare arena is doctors aren't educated about nutrition and bone loss, bone growth, bone recovery is all about diet and exercise. So if you've got a problem with bone loss, make sure you check out my full crash course on the topic where we dive deep into the intricacies of the nutrition involved and the nutrient deficiencies that are problematic with people with osteoporosis. We also talk about the most common prescription drugs that can actually cause bone loss and malnutrition. So check out my crash course in the link. Take care.